Alright, I am looking at the Squirtle for March 21st. So if you're not familiar with Squirtle, uh, I'll have a link in the description where you can go check out the rules. It's a little bit tricky, so it's like Wordle, but you're guessing uh, a bunch of words that are kind of in a grid, and we're guessing the first row and first column, and then we guess the third row and third column, and, and there's a lot of information about the orange and the red and the yellow and what they all mean, so look in there if you're not familiar. Uh, or go check out my first Squirtle video, I'll also link that one in the description, and I've, I've got some, uh, I went through the rules in that one, so. I am gonna start, what am I gonna start with today? Um, I think I'm gonna start with Store, that's been doing good for me. Um, I've done Story before, and that's pretty good too, but I think the E is good to get in there. Okay, yep, we do have an E there. That's good. So, there's, now there's an O in this third row, and there's also an O in the first row and the third column, so there's a decent chance that there's an O right here. Um, not necessarily, but it feels like that would be a good thing to guess, something with an O there. Um, we know there's a T and an R somewhere in the grid. You know, interesting. Um, oh, well, no, I was gonna say we could almost guess store again because we know there's an S in this first column. But we know there's no T here and there's no R here. There's no E, I, actually I was thinking story, but, because there's no E at the end, but there's no R or T in here either. So, or T and R here, so that's not good. Okay, so, but we could get something with an S here. Now, we know there's not an S at the top of here. But there could be an S here, because we have the red S in the first column. So, maybe S isn't the best guess. The hard part is, you want to guess something that works for both directions, and you usually can't. <laughs> Seems like. Alright, maybe something like... I was gonna say something like scone, but we know there's no E in the last column here. But that would let us check if there's an E in the third row or the third column. And in this fifth row. Because we already know about... Well, we know there's an E here. There could be another E in the first column, but otherwise that would tell us where all the E's are. Alright, that's probably not the best guess, but I'm gonna go with it anyways. Oh! The O-N, okay. So, so we were right about the O in the middle. There is a C somewhere. Hmm, that's interesting. So we could try a C in this guess, and it, then if there wasn't a C in this row or column, we'd know there was a C in one of these first rows or columns. Um, we don't have much information yet. We've got a lot of, uh, you know, with these white or light gray or whatever letters, but... Okay, this O-N, so what's gonna go over here? If it's not an E, it could be a D or a G, maybe a Y, but D and G feel like the most likely letters there. Could be a K, but feels like D or G would be good to guess there. Especially G. O N G seems good. And G is a good letter to guess any. I mean D's not bad either, so either one would be good really, but Okay, if that is a G. We haven't guessed an A or a U or an I yet either. We need to get those vowels out there. So How about laugh? Laugh seems good. A U G H L all letters we haven't used yet. Yeah, that's a good one. Let's do that. Okay, so there is an L in the first column and in the first row. So again, that makes me think there might be an L right here. There could be an L somewhere else in both of those words, but um, it might be good to guess an L there. Uh, oh, there's an A. There could be an A right here. A-O, but A-O feels like it's less likely. There's not gonna be a lot of words with A-O in the second and third position, so there's probably an A here. So let's, let's see, if we do L-A, um, we know there's no U or H. It'd still be good to get an I in there. You know, Layup actually wouldn't be too bad. It lets us see if there's an L and an A in those positions. We haven't checked the Y or the P yet. We know there's no U, but I'm still gonna go with that. I think that's good. Ooh, there is L-A there. Okay, good. And there is a P. 
So, and an S. Laps. It has to be laps. So the first word is laps. Um, now, we don't necessarily need to guess laps when we get back there. If we can guess a word that starts with P right now, that gets us the P, and then we could potentially do a word up here with an S in the fourth position, and it would give us that S. You don't necessarily have to guess the word laps as long as you get all the letters green. That's the way this one works. So, uh, bone, no, prong, 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 we thought there might be a G. Let's go with prong. I think that's pretty good. We know there's an R somewhere. We know there's a G in this last column. Let's do prong. It is prong. Okay, cool. We get a bonus guess. Now we know there's an S in the fourth position here, so let's go ahead and put that in there. There is a G in this column here, but not in the last position. Okay, interesting. Uh, what else do we know? What about like, er, but there's not a G right there. We don't need to guess a G. We don't need the. We don't need to use the G. We can guess something without the G. It starts with. E. We also don't have to guess something that starts with E, actually, but we still haven't used an I. Let's do something with an I. So, we do something like Biddy. We haven't used the B or the D yet, but we know there's no Y. Bidet? How about Bidet? That doesn't seem bad. We know there's a T somewhere. Let's do Bidet. Oh, there is another E. Look at that. There is another E in this word. Okay. So... And there's an I up here. Perfect. Okay, so uh, there's a T in here, and it's not there because of the T up here. So this third letter is a T. Enter, maybe? Could it be enter? I think it could be. It could be enter. Uh, all right, so we're up here at the top. So we need, we want to guess something with an S in the fourth position, even though this might not be an S, because we need to get this S. Um, in fact, we know there's not an S up here because of this S, but there's no A or E up here, or U, so it has to be an O or an I. Oh, there is an O. There is an O, because we have the orange O. So there's an O, probably there. So we also know that there's a G somewhere in this third column. It's not the fourth position here. So it's either gotta be there, up here. I mean, you can do logs, but there needs to be a fifth letter. We don't necessarily have to do the S here right now. We could do it, you know, on our next trip around. You know, we have a C somewhere, because of this C right here. And it's not over here. It's not in this third column. It's not in the second column. So it's probably in this last word. All right, I'm going to I'm going to forget about the S for right now. I'm going to do logic cuz I think the O is here. I want to it would tell us if there's a C uh, over here. Something like cigar. This could be cigar actually cuz we know there's an Oh, there could be just an A over here. I'm gonna go with that anyways. Oh, it is logic, okay, cool, so it's logic. So that was good, so it didn't, it wasn't a wasted guess without getting the S over here. And then we'll be able to do laps and we'll get an extra guess from that. So, so this has to be cigar, I think. Yeah, because the A is here, because there's no A at the bottom, so this is cigar. So this is R, this is gonna be enter. Uh, what's this one gonna be? Could be... What's gonna go between the G and the O? It's not an R. Ghost? No, we don't have an H. Maybe an L? Could that be an L? Gloat? Could be gloat. That seems like a good... Let's try gloat. I think that's... I think that's gotta be what it is. I can't think of anything else. Okay, so it is gloat. Good. And then... Okay, so enter or cigar we want to use, but we don't have to use either of those words. We just need an N in the second position and an AR at the end. Something like sneer, I think would work. 
Sneer is not in the dictionary, I guess. I'm pretty sure that's how you spell sneer. Hmm, okay. So, what's gonna work there? On par? I don't know if that counts as a one word or two. Okay, that's not a word either. Uh, might not be able to do that. Alright, there's probably a word that would work there, but I can't think of any, so... Unfortunately, because that would be a great... I, sneer, I feel like, should work there. Pretty sure that's how you spell sneer, but maybe I'm spelling it wrong. Maybe it's E-E or something. Alright, um... Well, we've got plenty of guesses, so it doesn't really matter. So let's just go with cigar. And then we'll do... Uh, laps. And... Enter, and that should finish it off. Alright, we won. Perfect. Alright, so that was the Squirtle for today. Let me know if there's a word I should have used at the end there to get the N and the A and the R without having to do cigar and enter. I feel like sneer is the, the word to use, but... I don't know, let me know if there's another word that I should have used that would work there. I can't think of any, so... Uh, and let me know how you did with today's Squirtle, and I'll see you again soon with some more puzzles. Thanks. Bye.